Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Granny Rectangular Crochet Afghan and this is featuring the brand new yarn of Karen Chunky Cakes. Today we're going to make this pattern live on camera. So Karen has come out with a brand new yarn line called Karen Chunky Cakes and exactly the colors that you see are in one particular ball. So you're going to need a total of five balls in order to make this particular afghan. It's approximately 48 inches wide by 64 inches long. It's a really nice size uh, particular afghan for your couch. So today we're going to be able to make this. We're going to use an eight millimeter size L crochet hook in order to play and going to be using our Karen Chunky Cakes in order to play along. Let's show you the diagram that's available in the pattern. So here is the sample diagram and this is exactly how it's gonna look. So it's gonna be in rounds just like you see. So we're gonna start off with a starting chain and then we're gonna come across the chain and then back around the other side and down through the bottom of the chain and then back up. So what's gonna happen is that once you get this thing started it's gonna be very easy to go around in circles. So you can make this afghan as big as you need it to go. You just have to stop whenever you feel like it. But you can see the consistency as it grows out is exactly the same. So all corners then would have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets inside and then you can see that there's groups of three double crochets into the chain one spaces, chain one, three double crochets into the chain one spaces and etc. So the key to this is really getting started in order to have a lot of fun with this. So without further ado we're gonna get started on the beginning here and then I'm gonna show you just how to get around a few rounds and then I'm gonna leave the rest for you to, to complete on your own. So let's begin today. We're gonna start off with the slip knot and we're gonna insert the slip knot onto the hook and we're going to chain a total of 31. So let's uh, just count those. We'll do all the chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So once you have your 31 done just like you see here then you're ready to go around and we're gonna start and go around the one side of the chain, circle back around and come on the underside of the chain in order to complete round number one. So let's do that together. So let's get our round established as we go on round number one. So we're gonna go fourth chain from the hook so just count it back from the hook. So one, two, three, turn it over and get the back hump of the stitch uh, of the chain itself on the fourth one. So it's one, two, three and it's the fourth and I want you to double crochet. So the chains we just skipped actually are part of the double crochet. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet and into the same stitch again or the same chain we're gonna do another double crochet. So there's technically three double crochets hanging out of the same chain. So we're going to then advance so we're gonna chain up one and what we need to do is that we need to skip a total of two chains here. So just skip down. So one, two and then go to the third and then we're gonna place three double crochets into that one. So one and again it's on the back hump of the chain. It'll make sense when you come back around why I'm doing that. So you got three in there, chain one and how many are you gonna skip on the chain? It's always gonna be the same. It's gonna be two. So skip two and double crochet into the third one over. So one, two and three. Chain one, skip two. So one, two, go to the third and double crochet into the third one. And you're gonna double crochet how many times? That's right, it's three. So you're always gonna be working really in, in triples with these double crochets, always three together at any time. So let's uh, chain one to advance, skip two more chains and double crochet in the third one over for three more double crochets. Okay, chain one to advance, skip two more chains, go to the third and double crochet three times into the third. So one, two and three. Chain one to advance, skip two more chains, double crochet three more times into the third chain away. Ok, 
Okay, skip one, sk or sorry, chain one, skip two more, and go to the third for three more double crochets. Okay, chain one, skip two more. So that's pretty easy, right? So if you're new to crochet, um, this is actually a pretty easy pattern to be able to, to work in probably as a beginner as well. Okay, chain one to advance and look, you're gonna skip two and this is the final chain. So that means my chain count of 31 was correct. And I'm gonna go into that final chain which is the third chain away and put in three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. So we're gonna create our first corner. So we're gonna turn around this chain and come down the other side of it. So we're gonna chain two. So always in a corner, it'll always be chain two. And then back into the same space right here, you're gonna put three more double crochets into that space. So one, two, and three. And then turn the corner again. So chain two, and then three more double crochets into that same space again. So this is really the only time other than the other side of this that you'll have three sets going into one because it's turning around as you do it. So chain one to advance. So here's the fun thing about this side is that all the stitches are exactly mirrored to each other. So see where this next group of three is? That's where the first one is going to appear. And so just reach over and just pinch this straggler. This is the starting, just put it with it and just double crochet three more times. One, two, three. So you see you don't have to count really across the chain because it's just a mirror. So chain one to advance and go to the other one. And I'm just leaving that straggler down on top of it so it gets stuck underneath the stitches. So three double crochets again. And then chain one. Okay and go to the next one. Okay, chain one and then go to the next three double crochets as you always have been doing. So the color transitions you see within this uh, particular afghan are pretty easy to be able to um, to be able to follow because it just comes out of the ball naturally and that's what gives it the unique look that you see within the photograph. So it's actually the yarn doing the work without you having to cut and change your yarns all the time. So chain one to advance and go to the next one. And eventually you're gonna hit the other side of this um, blanket where we're gonna have to turn around and get ourselves back to reset for this. So chain one. Okay, so I have three more groups left. So the rest of the rounds I'm not gonna follow all the way around like I am right now. I'm just getting you started and this is really more for the benefit of the new crocheters out there. So chain one. Okay, so the very final one is going to be unique because you had to put on all those extra stitches in the, the other side in order to turn the corner, right? So you had to do it on this side. So you have to do the same on this side. So one is already in there. So chain one and into the last one here which is part of this one you're gonna have to double crochet three times. So one, two, and three and you have to turn a corner. So what is it gonna be? It's gonna be chain two and then coming back into that same one again. Three more double crochet. So one, two, and three. And you're almost done. You have to join it to the top of this first one that you started with. So chain two to turn the corner and then just slip stitch it to the top of the first chain that you had started with. Like so. So you can see now you've gone all the way around. Let me back out the camera for you a little bit here. And what you can see is that you've gone all the way around. So you came around, turned the corner, came back and stopped here. So let's just turn it to match the diagram. And what we're going to do then is that we're going to then just expand each one of the rounds and you can stop whenever you feel like it in order to get to the afghan size you need. So here's how you're gonna start every row now going forward. So every round is gonna be the same way. So you're already connected to the first uh, double crochet which is the chain that which counted as a double crochet. So what you have to do is you have to slip stitch into the next one 
So just going, just slide into the next stitch, pull through and through, slide into the next stitch, pull through and through, and then slide into the next chain one space, through and through, and now you're ready. So you have to uh, always slip stitch in order to get started. So chain up three, which counts as a double crochet, and into the same space you're gonna put in two more double crochets because you have to have a total of three. So that chaining in three counted as a double crochet. So you're gonna chain one to advance and jump to the next chain one space and put in three double crochet. Nice and simple, right? So if you've done granny squares before, you know how to do this. So chain one and then continue all along. So go to the next chain one space and just put in three double crochets. Do that all the way uh, to the first corner. I'll see you at the first corner. Let's review on how to turn around again and then I will see you there in just a moment. So chain one, again three double crochets into the next and I'll see you at that first corner. So I'm about to hit the first corner. You can see it here and here. There's two corners. So we're gonna just chain one which I've already done and then we advance into the first corner. So the first corner will then will be three double crochet and all corners are the same on how you handle them going forward. So three double crochet first, chain two, that allows you to turn the corner and then into the same space I need you to put in three more double crochets. So that allows you to fully turn that corner and keep that project nice and flat and even as you go. So we're now going to advance and the next one happens to be a corner of the other side. So as you get this afghan growing bigger, there's gonna be more of these spaces just like you see along here that will be in between the corners. But for now, we're gonna chain up one and we get an advance into the next corner because that's the next one left. And you're just gonna put in three double crochet first. Followed by chain two and three double crochet. So you can see when you did this is that the next time you come and do this you'll see a corner and then you'll have that chain one space and then the corner. So this will get more and more uh, further apart from each other. So you're gonna chain one and then advance down the other side. Okay, so as you turn the corner, so just go into the chain one spaces, three double crochet followed by a chain one after it and then I'll see you at the other side of the corner as you complete this round. So please do that and I'll see you at the next corner. So I'm coming down to the other side. You can see I got a corner to turn and this is where I started. So you can see it's getting bigger. So chain one, go into your next corner. So chain, or sorry, three double crochets. Chain two and the colors just changed. So one, so another three double crochets here to finish off that corner. And then chain one and then you go to the next corner because it happens to be next. Again that'll get further and further away from each other as you complete each round. Chain two and three double crochet. And then finally as you come around then you're going to then chain one first and then join it to the first chain three that you'd started with. So that's how you would complete a round just like this. So if you wanna uh, continue along, so all you just need to do, let's review on how to get started again. You're going to slip stitch, so one, and I keep advancing till you get to the chain one space. So that's total three slip stitches and then chain up three, counts as a double crochet. Two more double crochets into the same one because that chain three counted as one. And then chain one and keep on going all the way around just like this. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna continue that and then chain one. You continue to do that and then in the corner when you get there, at the corners again, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then you just keep turning. You fill in the space with three double crochets and then you hit the next corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and continue all the way around. You're gonna notice that the slip stitching is going to start coming up on an angle like this. So as you come around, it gets this starting point gets further and further away. And if you look at the instructions, that is also true as well. So this is how you just do a granny rectangular afghan featuring Karen Chunky Cakes. Till next time, I'm Mike on behalf of Your Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you again real soon, bye-bye.